Today we're going to be talking about how to increase your top speed uh, or your acceleration depending on uh, which way you take this mod. So how are we going to increase your speed or how are we going to increase your acceleration? Well, the answer is gearing, boy. So as you can tell, we're going to be doing some gear changing. So we're going to be changing over the front sprocket in the bike. Uh, it was like $11 on eBay uh, to get it shipped to my door. So we're just going to go ahead and start by taking the three 8 mils off. Now here you guys can see this is the front sprocket. Get some tension slacked off and then we should be able to pull this gear off. Make sure that the center sprocket all fits and that that was 17 millimeters. Um, we'll go from there. One thing I will note, when we're looking at this guy here, when you're pulling it off, you need to be careful because there's this gasket here and you don't want to muck that up when you're pulling it off. So just be really careful. This stator here, if you look right up here, there's that metal clip right there, that little metal tab, and that wants to get caught on it when you're trying to take it off. So just be really gentle. You guys can see when I go to move this little plate that the cogs go to where there's an opening and then you can pop this guy off. All right, so as you turn it, it locks in place on that little cog so that guy doesn't pop off. Before I do this actually, I need to detension the chain. So first we're gonna come over to the passenger side, so the right hand side of the bike, and you're gonna come down, there's gonna be this 19 millimeter uh, bolt, sorry, nut. You're gonna take this nut, just back it off. You don't have to take it all the way out, just literally crack it loose. Here we go, nice easy spinning, free and loose. So, now to actually back the chain off, so we've just loosened the wheel itself. We're actually gonna come into here. So this is a bolt. Here's the lock nut that's stopping that from moving. Here's the plate that it'll sit up against on the top. So what we're gonna do is take this, here's a 12 millimeter. You're gonna back that, loosen it off. And then as you screw this in, it'll drop, or if you screw it out, it'll push it away. So in is gonna slack the chain, out is gonna put more tension on it. And then there's also one, there's the identical thing on the driver's side or the left-hand side of the bike. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna take this guy here and we're gonna screw it down in so we can pull that wheel up shorter so there's less tension on the chain. Now that we have ample chain slack, we should be able to pop this guy off just no problem. All right, and here we have the two different sprockets. So here we have the original one that came off the bike and here we have our aftermarket one. Uh, so they should be the same center size here of 17 millimeters. I'm pretty sure the one I ordered was supposed to be 17 tooth. And if I look at it right there, it says 16 tooth. So uh, let's do it here together. This is going to be my first count as well. Let's count how many tooths there are on this one. So got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's a 14 tooth. And we're going to 16 tooth. And it's, uh, let's see if it's 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. It is sixteen too. So we look at the overall diameter. If we lined up the teeth there, go ahead and send it that a bit more. You can see the difference there, really, of how much larger the sixteen tooth is to this fourteen tooth. So if we line up the centers, I'm just OCD, so I want to get these center pieces kind of right, yeah, like so. You can see there's. Uh, it's going to be definitely a taller gear. So I guess uh, we'll go ahead and we'll give it a shot, stick it in and see how she does. Now note, these are one here. This is the original bolt. This is the bolt that came aftermarket with the secondary uh, sprocket that I bought online. So make sure you do check that bag and look into the bolts because they are slightly different. I'm assuming that has to do with the extra girth of this aftermarket one. It's slightly larger. So I'm assuming that's what's up with that, but something to, to note and make sure of, as well as that I'm definitely putting some Loctite on these. So first thing I'm noticing is we're gonna need way more slack on this guy to be able to get it close to fitting up onto that pin. It's just uh, not, even, not even close to being there. So we're gonna need to slack this guy. Oh shit, look at that. That's it, Carol. Fucking Carol Baskin. This will be is on there. So now, we're gonna take our 
couple of Loctite bolts here. Nope, don't be a dumbass. Don't be a dumbass like me. Don't forget to put your fucking flex plate on, you're gonna die. Don't do that shit. Make sure you got this shit on there, dude. Fucking, how about I get you guys lined up too so I can see what the fuck I'm talking about? Jesus Christ, I'm fucking blowing it. Alright, there we go, fucking A, bud. Okay, don't be a dumb fuck. Forget to put this thing on before you put one of those things in. Slide this sucker on. Tomorrow we'll be going out and I will be filming another video. I'm going out riding with Brandon, I'm pretty sure, tomorrow morning. Uh, and we'll go out for a, a ride and uh, I'll give you the full kind of thoughts on it when we're out on the trail and uh, I can actually see what it's like when you're up in fourth gear. Because that's really why I changed it. It's, you'd notice it when I was following him and he's on a 250. Uh, I'm pretty sure his is a six speed and this one's only a four speed. So it's, I'm always hunting for that fifth gear. I'm always looking to pick the pick the shifter up and go up another gear but there just there isn't another gear so I thought well if I can get a little bit more out of fourth gear I'll be happy because usually if I'm screaming along in fourth gear like hitting rev limiter he's he's cooking pretty good and we're, we're boogieing down the road but I just don't want to be screaming at rev limiter the whole time so I want to be able to be a little bit calmer in the rpms and be still going that fast so hopefully this is the the key to it without uh, losing too much of that acceleration or just that low putt puttness I can do in first gear when you're in like the really technical trails with that smaller 14 tooth sprocket, you can kind of just like crawl along in the rocks. So I'm, we'll have to see how this 16 tooth does uh, for that aspect, which you'll have to see in tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow I'm going riding. I'm not sure when I'll have this video posted up, uh, the one I'm talking about, uh, probably be in two, three days from now, depending on how busy I am. Uh, but yeah, enjoy. I'm just gonna take it uh, for a little tiny roll down the road just once and just see if the first gear feels any different and uh So the question you probably got right off the rip for me, do I notice it? Answer is yes, you can definitely feel the difference. Uh, it's like slightly more, it's slightly faster. It's slightly more top end instead of a, a little bit less acceleration. But I really haven't tested it yet. So you're gonna have to check in for our next video. Make sure you hit subscribe so you can see when we post our next video for the follow up for the uh, new upgraded 16 tooth front sprocket. and. Uh, yeah, make sure to leave a like if you learned something new and if maybe you're thinking of doing this to your own bike. And if you've got any questions about changing the gearing on your bike, leave a comment down below and uh, I'll go ahead and give you a reply and let you know uh, what's up. So until next time guys, peace out and thank you guys so much for watching.